Hi, this is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. So here we are on April 2022 reading. And I'm a little upset with my white light tribe. Uh, they are not paying too much attention to this channel. So please like, subscribe and share with your family and friends. So we are now reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, April 2022. So let's see. Wow, the cards are jumping out. Okay, let's see what we have for Capricorns. They look a little disappointed. They feel a little pressurized in their life, maybe their family life. Okay. Um, Capricorns, you're not looking in the right direction. Maybe you are too going too much inside of yourself. Anyways, April is a month of, uh, it's more of a hermit energy, okay? Hermit is all about looking inside of yourself. Hermit is all about, um, you know, meditations and guidance and uh, some uh, connecting with the universe and feeling. Or maybe if you, even if you're not alone, you know, you will be alone heart of heart. So the whole of April for all zodiac signs, is mainly that so somewhere I feel that you're still looking into the past you're thinking contemplating what happened what didn't happen right so let's see yeah so Capricorns the first week of April is going to get you an offer at work money will come in your hand I'm not saying money will be in big amount it may might be in a smaller amount okay uh, there will be an offer either you will make an offer to someone or someone will make an offer to you okay money will be in hand there is something that money is coming from somewhere okay that is going to be a good time the first week for work second week you are going to feel a little hurt about things okay let's see what you are going to feel hurt about I need to do more cards here <coughs> you are going to feel more I think heard about somewhere you wanted to move, somewhere you wanted to shift or maybe you wanted to uh, have a step up in your career or maybe you wanted to shift jobs or something like that. There is a little hurt about a change in life. Maybe you are trying to begin new in something. Okay. And that will not happen. So you feel very hurt. Maybe you will be feel hurt with your life partner or somebody who is close to you in the office. Okay. Uh, that kind of a thing. So little bit feeling of hurt, little bit, you know. Uh, not feeling good about yourself that might happen in the second week Capricorns in the third week there's a lot of balance you're trying to strike a balance in your work maybe home life and you know professional life or maybe you're trying to balance money because money is also a very big issue in the third week so you're trying to balance money you're trying to uh, you know um, maybe possibly you are if you're into business you will invest somewhere or maybe you'll gain somewhere you'll gain somewhere you'll invest somewhere something like that and also could be that you're trying to manage money or managing money is very important at that time. Okay. Now the fourth week. Fourth week is all about creativity. Fourth week is all about movement. Fourth week is all about moving forward. Fourth week is all about somewhere. If if you are in a, a creative field, you will do extremely well. If you are uh, wanting to start something new, good. Somebody who is very creative, happy-go-lucky, good at heart and extremely in a good position, you might meet such a person also professionally. Somebody who will come to basically uh, give you an offer or maybe somebody who will come, who will turn your world around and say, oh yeah, see, this is the bright side of life. That, <laughs> that is also, um, you know, it might resonate to some people. That also will happen with you, Capricorn. So, fairly up and down, but okay, okay, kind of a month, April for you, Capris. And um, let's see what we have in our love reading. What we have in our relationship area. Okay. And here we go. Capricorn, relationship, April. Okay. A lot of throat chakra energy, huh? Balance. Balance, balance everywhere. Balance in work, balance in relationship. Well, I feel that, Capricorns, you have stopped manifesting in your relationships. Now you should. It's the right time. You're going to manifest whatever your heart desires. You can see this is how you are you're feeling right now you want to manifest the right person in your life or maybe you know that person right 
and uh, somewhere there is a lot of throat chakra energy where you feel that you could not communicate exactly what you wanted and you're feeling bad about it now and you need to learn learn capricorns learn how to convey your heart feelings to someone okay tell that person i love you and i care for you openly okay if you do only then something is going to shift your root chakra right now is blocked or maybe too loose so you need to work on that please go and visit my chakra healing which i made very long back i'm going to repeat the video very soon again i'm going to make the new chakra healing and uh, here yeah, definitely you will find success in your relationship the one you wanted the yin and yang the perfect balance of masculine and feminine maybe you get too feminine or maybe you get too masculine uh, within yourself you know there is no balance so again see the balance has come again uh, it came in your work reading also so balance is a key for you capricorns in april right so you will succeed and you will come together with someone i'm very so happy okay you'll come together with someone and this is a long term relationship this is not something that will fizzle out soon why because i see a lot of commitment i see commitment so there is commitment coming there's a long term relationship you need to communicate clearly what you want and uh, the way you want you need to tell that person how much you care okay and speak the truth do not manipulate because if you do that person will come to know okay so <laughs> then it won't be a long term relationship right so let's see now what fairies have to say for you capricorns in a child i think fairies listen to me <laughs> so this is what i tell everybody and you too have to uh you know work on your inner child okay maybe you know um uh, sometimes we say oh we've done we've done inner child i have so many people calling me up and telling me we've done inner child healing and i tell them when well, why are you still stuck you do healings but you do not consciously make changes so you need to do that okay and the fairies of play playfulness remind you that make time and embrace your inner child so do something that you did in your childhood and nurture your inner child and that is a beautiful message from my beautiful fairies nice nice answer right i love it anyway so don't forget to share this video with your family and friends subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram facebook and twitter and call me for paid appointments only email me for paid appointments only that's all for today goodbye god bless bye 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 love you all